Uh, today's Tuesday, November 19, 2024, and it's a better day today. So far, no clouds. Uh, no clouds so far. And uh, it's, it's, it's about the same as yesterday, but I think it's going to warm up a little bit today. It's already 62 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I got to go out to the barn and get some more, get some more uh, soil. So I got two more plants, two more root clumps to transplant from the le lemongrass. So I'm gonna use a bigger container today. Let's see if that's gonna. I don't know how. I've never done that before, but must see how that works inside the house. Uh, as long as I can keep them warm. Uh, and give them enough light to all right let's uh well i'm gonna go check the temperature again first 62 degrees at 11 a.m got our got all relaxing up here on top by the barn and that's where i'm headed the barn and they all came to greet me da 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 yeah Nosy cattle. I brought my wheelbarrow in here and you gotta check it out. Alright, let's head to the barn, fill up, get some more old manure. Uh, you think I'm gonna feed you? Yeah, uh, no more, no more lemongrass today. You got all that I got. I decided to go ahead and use a couple buckets. For those last two lemongrass clumps, I don't know how that's going to work. There won't be no drainage out of those. I'm not going to poke no holes in good buckets. And uh, so I'll just have to make sure I don't water them too much. Yeah. Or if I do, I'll have to take them outside and dump out the excess. Uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to use for those last two. I'm going to try to keep the clumps whole. Yeah. See how that works. Only problem is, is, is the lighting. I can't get them close to a window. Because all my windows are up high. Anyway, uh, at least the ones on the south side. Uh, I got those buckets filled about three quarters full. That's my shooting. Probably getting ready for deer season. That's coming up pretty soon, I think. I think it's this coming weekend. Anyway, uh, I think. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it was this last weekend. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to haul that down to the... I put a little bit more soil or compost manure in the wheelbarrow in case I need some extra. But uh, it's all I should need for right now. Let's take it back down. Before I head back to work on those lemongrass clumps, I want to take a look at my bottom down here. Yeah, a lot of grass through here. It looks like they didn't even eat none of this yet, right through here. But it's pretty wet through there. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, it rained last night, too. Yeah, I don't know how much. I didn't check that yet. I will. Yeah. Yeah, they got lots of grass down through here. That's the overflow from the pond. I wonder if the pond goes out that way. I hear somebody behind me. Followed me. Uh, white bulls behind them. That's not a scratching post. I guess it is now. Yeah, I see a belly on her. I see a belly on her too, but that could be deceiving. It could be mostly hair. There comes Whitey. Is that his name now, Whitey? I used to call him Little Bully. Yeah. Well, if he gets bigger, maybe I'll just keep, keep calling him Little Bully. Yeah. Yeah. All my bulls are named Bull. Or Bully. <laughs> uh, I never gave bulls names. I don't give cows names, do they? 
you know, old cow, old mama cow, or heifer, or whatever. Uh, not an official name, so just something, something to identify them when I'm talking about them. Okay, let's uh, take another look at the bottom while I'm here. Oh, there's not much leaves in the way now. A few trees. But for, during the summer, I couldn't see back here because of all the leaves. On, the, on this side, but now I can. Yeah, uh, that's the that's the edge right there of the pasture. Yeah, yeah, lots of grass down there still. I don't have to worry about feeding them for a while. It's been two months, almost two months already. A few more days, and it'll be two months. And that's where I've been working, where the lemon grass is by that tree. Okay. Okay, let's uh, move on out of here. And I don't like that gun firing. Oh, they're not shooting at me, so I guess it's all right. Cow's eating. Oh, she's not a cow, but. Heifer is eating, uh, I should say old heifer. <laughs> She's eating the salt, licking the salt. And these guys here, right now they're just in my way. Uh, I ain't got nothing for you. I don't know what you're gonna hope to gain from me. Yeah, I got some work to do, so let's get out of here. Mama cow was walking really slow. Yeah. Uh, she, I don't know how many long, New Year's I can keep her. She's getting old. Uh, this is a heifer. She never had a calf. I don't know why. Maybe she's sterile. I don't know. That happens. But I like to look at her. If nothing else, I can look. I can just look at him. All right, bully. Had to. Defecate right near me, huh? Okay, I can smell it now. Whew, stinky. <laughs> How about that? I have to remember to avoid that on my way out. <laughs> I take the path less traveled. All right, let's go back to the lemongrass job. Boy, he doesn't like this wheelbarrow. He's scared of it. Yeah. Probably because he's probably never seen it before. Yeah, he just kept going in front of me. Yeah. Oh, it's the first time I heard you move. First time I heard you move. Scared? Yeah? Scared of the wheelbarrow? Yeah, I bet it had corn in it. You wouldn't be afraid of it. You'd be coming around running after it. Yeah. Well, I got work to do. I just stopped here to rest. This thing's heavy. Oh, now everybody's going. I better get going. Well, you don't know when to go sideways, boy. You're right in my path. You just keep walking ahead of me, and you're in the way. Cattle act like they want something from me. Looks like they looks like they clean up a lot most of the lemongrass. I'll go take a look after I get the wheelbarrow set. Oh, I'm ready to go through the little gate. And there's the lemongrass I already. Where is it? Oh, up there. I already harvested. Yeah, harvested and put it in the containers to bring it to the house later yeah because tonight supposed to be down to be supposed to be down to 32 tonight so that's why I'm doing this now before it's too late okay let's go I don't know if it was a right thing or the smart thing to do but um, old uh, aloe of their plants I gave them to the cattle so to eat them they 
they were biting on them, but I don't know if they're going to eat them. Neighbor shooting their gun. Yeah, there's still some lemongrass left, but not much. Most of it's cleaned up. Yeah, that's pile, that's pile. There's a little there. That's about it. That's all I can see. I can see some thistle out here growing. Spray them for next year. Yeah, I gave them four. A little vera plants there, there, there. There's one there. So I don't know if I don't know if they're going to eat them or not. Uh, I'll find out. I'll find out later. See? See how that heifer, every time she him, aims toward that little bully, he, he's got to go the other way. Yeah, she makes sure of that. Uh, she even fights with her mama. <laughs> yeah, that's her mama, but uh, it's not her mama, though. Her mama was another cow. It looked just like her. Yeah. Yeah, but I lost her a long time ago. Uh, well, that's all I can do here. Let's go back to transplanting that lemongrass. Yeah, that's, that's about all the lemongrass they got left. And I'm sure they'll eat it up before, before long. It didn't rain much last night. Only, only two tents. According to this. Uh, I only filled them buckets about three quarters. I didn't want to fill them up too full. And there's plenty, plenty of dirt in there, and soil for them. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure how am I gonna cover the dirt up. That's just about that clump will just about fill up the bucket. I have to get some. I have to get some soil on top of the roots. Uh, but I'll do that over by the wheelbarrow. If I can. Okay, let's uh, dig them up and uh, put them in a bucket. I dug around them, both of them. I made a little impression, a little pocket in the bucket. Let's see if I can fit them in there. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Let's put them in a bucket. Yeah. Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay, let's put them in a bucket. Well, I got the first one in. I had to, I had to level off the, I, I didn't really need that big of a pocket in there for the, the hole inside the bucket. Oh, I, was, I saw a bug coming out of that plant. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, before I could get it in the bucket, I had to, Scrape off this uh, uh, layer of soil on the edge, knock it off the roots because it was too wide for the bucket. So I'm going to do the same for this one. I need to scrape, loosen all that soil around it, and just ex just let the roots expose the roots all the way around it and make it more of a taper. Well, it's already a taper, but I need to I need to get the soil off the root there on the, on the sides. That's all. And then I can put that one in the bucket. Well, you can see I scraped some of that off. This all got the roots exposed. Now I can slide it into the bucket. I'm not sure how these buckets are going to work without drainage, but uh, I want to try it. I just did. I just don't have enough small containers to fit them. If I cut them in half. Okay, I got them in the bucket. I still need to throw, get some dirt. Or soil uh, around the edges on top of the roots or, or yeah to I need to cover the roots but I still have enough room to get my fingers in there so I think I can do that what are you guys doing you're watching everything I do aren't you don't you oh well oh they're in the they're in the bucket I guess that's the best part yeah yeah, just, just about the right size for that bucket. The knife's a little bit bigger, but then it'll be too heavy. It's already heavy. I can't use the handle 
to carry it. I have to carry it by the sides. Oh, there's that cat again. That's not a toilet, but I guess it will be now. Okay. And of course, the cat will uh, keep an eye on me. Too. Well, I did it. I got all the lemongrass out of the ground and into containers. These were my last two. I put these in a bucket because I didn't want to split them because I don't have uh, uh, I don't have any smaller containers that put them in. Uh, they got their eye on me for some reason. I think they want some more lemongrass. I think. Not sure. Well, they're in the buckets and out of the garden. All I gotta do now is take some of that soil there and shove it down on the sides, all the way around the sides. Get it down to the roots. Pack it in. I need to, uh, well, that's just what I gotta do. Only problem is when I water it, I gotta be careful not to overfill it because it'll overflow. I'll need some kind of container underneath the bucket for overflows in case that happens. Since they're gonna be in the house, also need to somehow clean the dirt off the bottom of the buckets, or I should say the soil, because it's uh, the soil is kind of wet and damp, and it sticks to everything. Okay, let's uh, see what I can do. That's all the lemongrass I have in small containers. Those I'm going to put in that long container. Uh, that'll be close to the window. Hopefully they'll do the best, but I'm I'm kind of concerned about having too many in there. It's too thick. They're too thick. They're, it takes up a lot more nutrients from the soil. So, but my own, my my aim is to just to keep them alive during the winter. Uh, I'll plant them back out in the garden next year. Whatever survives. Yeah. Sometimes, even if only one one sprout survives, one one stalk survives like on these these here if only if all these stalks that are in here on each pot if only one stalk survives I can use that one stalk to plant that's why I did this spring only had a few survivors yeah but uh normally I just do like this I divide them into each stalk into because only had like one or two clumps last year I think one or two anyway uh and they were small clumps too and uh but the soil wasn't very good last year. But this year I put the manure in there and it really made them grow. Anyway, cow, animal rubbing on that gate, on the gate, making a noise. But anyway, so if I can just get one stalk that survived, I can plant that and it'll make another <laughs> clump like this. Alright, these. Okay. Yeah, this is what I got to put in the house. Gotta get, get, get my shadow away from there. Okay, and there's the kitty. Uh, well, the lemon grass is out of the garden. Yeah, out of the garden. Uh, in case anybody's wondering what that yellow pole is there for, uh, it's a, there's a little fence post there, and I got a drain coming out from the gutter on the house on the porch, uh, porch house, not the house, the porch. It drains it through a pipe and it drains out here, but sometimes it gets clogged up, so I, I need to know where that is so I can clean it out there once in a while, to let the water flow out. That's what that's there for. I don't need such a big one though. I, I should get a smaller one interferes let's see what I can do about that I suppose there's no time like the present to replace that long post and pipe yellow pipe with a shorter one I need to dig around there anyways I can't even see the drainage pipe anymore so that drainage pipe is around there somewhere that's why I put that that's why I put that there so I can always know where to where to dig I guess all this 
I haven't done it. I haven't cleaned it all summer. So we got filled up with silt from the garden or the or from somewhere. Uh, got to dig a little deeper. Oh, uh, it was there somewhere. I found it. Uh, just as I suspected, it's clogged. It's clogged up. I got to unclog it. It's only usually clogged at the end. I thought I dug some of that mud out of there. I'm not sure, but it looks like the end is coming uphill. I may have to redig this. I think what I should do is there's a there's a tear there. I need to cut that off. There's a tear there in the in the pipe right about there, or there's a hole anyway. I'm gonna cut that off, and then uh, one of these days I need to get an extension, another pipe or the coupler, and then dig a ditch and let it go out around the corner. That's what I should do. The only reason I left it here <laughs> because I ran out of pipe and I never did fix it. Uh, and I've been dealing with it ever since. Okay, let me uh, clean that out some more and uh, get it back to where it belongs. Uh, I cut the little piece off. I'm not going to cover that up. Leave it the way it is. That way I can see it better when it clogged up. I know I won't remember, but I should re try to remember that that new stub, short stub, is now on the south side of the pipe uh, compared to the old one. Uh, south side, okay, remember that. South side, so that's where I'm going to you know, someday maybe uh, need to extend the pipe, put a put an elbow in there and extend it around to the other, so it drains out that way. It drains out that way anyway, because it's uphill here, so it has to drain around the box. Uh, but I never got that far. That was I don't know how many years ago. Well, uh, no more. Somewhere in the late 80s, I'd say. Yeah, late 80s. And this is as far as I got. Anyway, let's see what it looks like without that big tall pipe there. That cat's been laying around here all day while I'm working on that pipe. Not all day. Uh, here, we here comes the mama cat. Here comes mama. She's been out hunting, I guess. There she comes over there. That's her mama. The mama of these two kittens. That's the mama of Bud too, but somewhere along the line Bud disappeared. I guess it's been about a month ago, maybe more. I don't know where he went or what happened to him. But anyway, I'm gonna. I just put. The, I just dug dug out the the end of the pipe, drainage pipe, and I put a new stob in, yellow marker. That's good. Now it's uh flush with the box so that's good and I'm gonna take out the tall one yeah that looks better a shorter marker there for the drain pipe next time it rains I'll have to see if it works or if it's opened up if the water comes out well actually it's one of those drain pipes that has the holes in it yeah it has the uh, holes there for drainage it's not a solid pipe, so any water that goes in has can drain out, or it can drain in too. Yeah, it can drain in. If there's too much water in the driveway here, it'll soak down and drain out. But there's a pretty good slope here, so I don't ever have a problem with that. All right, there's the empty lemongrass uh, planted area, and uh, it's empty now. As I uh, transplanted everything, I still got to work on those two buckets though. But that's that'll be the end, except for putting them in the house. Back to working on these. I got to get some some of that soil around the around the roots, around the whole around the bucket on the inside. It is. Well, I got it packed. I left about an inch 
uh, or more uh, uh, below the bucket rim. Yeah, I still got to clean off the bottom of the bucket somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, that's going to be, I should have, yeah. uh, well, This was the best way to get the manure in. Just shove it in from the sides all the way around while it's in the wheelbarrow with the manure. So, now I got to figure a way to get the manure off the bottom of the buckets. Look at that cat. It's in that plastic tub or barrel that I cut the bottom off of. <laughs> Relaxing in the sunlight. Must be nice in there. Found a way to clean the bottom of the bucket. Not ideal, but it'll work. I hope it'll work. Okay, this one's clean. I gotta clean the second one now. Well, there's a second bucket I gotta clean the dirt off of, or the soil off of. All right, let's do that. The only reason I'm cleaning these off is I gotta move these buckets into the house, and I don't need dragging dirt in. Even though I am bringing dirt in, at least it's contained in the bucket. I hope. And hope it'll stay there. Oh, it's as clean as I can get the second bucket. All right, let's go. Let's put these buckets in first. That's all my lemon grass that I grew this summer. At least the ones I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in another container uh, in the house. These two I'm going to put in the same room, and a few of these, whatever I can fit. Yeah. So those will be the closest to the window, up on top, the big ones. Hey, cat. Don't, don't be rubbing on the lemongrass. Uh, that's another reason I don't have house cats. You can't have plants in the house with a house cat. They'll dig it out. Anyway. Yeah, I got to do a test run on this out here first. I'm going to make sure they all fit before I transfer them all into the house. Well, that's all my lemongrass. Uh, I'm ready for winter. Let's, let me do a test first. Uh, at least they fit. They fit in this container. So when I water them, all I have to do is put water in here, right, fill up the whole tree underneath, and that waters all of them. <sighs> I'm having my doubts about this one. There's some growing, yeah, but I noticed, but I noticed that these, some of these bigger stalks there, uh, like that one there, and this one here, these here, that one's growing. But some of these bigger ones, a lot of them over there, a lot of those bigger ones there, here, and here, a lot of them aren't even growing yet. Uh, I see some of them, some of the smaller ones are sprouting out. Yeah, yeah. Some of these, that one's growing good, and that one. Uh, whenever they sprout like that, that means they're growing. Uh, I'll have to keep ahead of them. I'll have to keep them trimmed. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take them out of that container. I gotta put the container, the empty container in first, and then put them in one at a time. Carry them in. Okay, let's do that. Well, there's eight containers of the, of, uh, of, uh, four, four lemongrass clumps that were cut in half, each cut in half. Yeah. I might have made a mistake putting too many in a small container like that, but as long as something survives, I'll be okay with it. Uh, next step will be putting them in the house. Well, these won't survive the frost tonight, so I'm going to cut them. Another thing I'm going to, I got a couple very small pots 
I want to try to transplant. I'll cut that one off, that one off, and then I'll cut that one off, and this one off. Those two, those, that's a separate pot, that's a separate pot. Let's see, I think I'll put both of these small ones in. And I'll take, I'll take the leaves off first. So they'll have a chance to grow back, but those up there, I think I might leave those. I'll see how they grow. The black plastic off the car, and I saw, I found a couple of woolly worms. Uh, and I crawled under there trying to hibernate. Oop, there, that one fell off. This one will fall off, and I'll have to find a new place to hibernate. These are the ones I cut. I want to, I don't have much hope for these growing indoors. I've never been able to grow them before, but I'm going to try again. Yeah, I just don't like, they like lots of sunlight. And winter is a, is a bad time for them. And they don't like the cold either. Yeah, they're a tropical plant, that's why. I'll see what I can do with them. I'm not sure. This is the uh, smallest one that I, I picked. Yeah. Smallest, smallest uh, trunk anyway. But look at that. Just like normal, this this has got another leaf like this, another leaf growing out, and here here's another leaf growing out here too, and you can see that their leaves. Yeah, there's already a leaf on it, a leaf on it, but this one here. It should be a leaf, but it's not. I don't know what that is. It looks like it might be a bloom. I've never had them bloom before. It's too late now anyway. But I'm going to leave it on there just to see if it develops. It'll probably dry up because there's not enough root to maintain it. And there's not any root. These these things are known to be, you can plant the, plant the, uh, stalks like this, just the, just a, a, a cutting like this, and it'll grow in the Philippines. You just stick it in the ground and it'll grow a root. It takes time to do that. Uh, this one here, I'm going to leave all this foliage on it because I want to see what it'll do. I was going to trim it off, but now that I see that growing, I just want to see what it's going to do. I really don't expect these to survive, but inside the house, but I know they won't survive uh, outside, not when it gets freezing. But I'll see what I see if they'll grow. If they if they die, they die. You know, I got some more seed for next year. If I want to grow some, if it'll grow from 2017, and I have a little bit of kamong guy to hang to to dry. So what I'm gonna do now is. Bring in the eight pots of lemongrass and put it in here. Well, I got some uh, kamong guy in here. Still got to bring those buckets in, but uh, uh, I'll put them on the floor. Oh, this is all that's left outside. Uh, I think I'm going to give. That one, and uh, one of those to my one of my sisters, and I think I'll give that one to my other sister. But those I know had roots on them. These I uh, can't remember. That was the first bunch that I did, and I wasn't too careful what I was putting in there. I thought they had roots, but I'm gonna hang on to them. Uh, I can find a place to put them. I'll find a place. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah. I'm tired. Yeah, I gotta get cleaned up and call my sister or text her and see if she's home. And if she still wants some lemongrass plants for the winter. Yeah. I'll probably just wait and, yeah, I'll give it to them. I can always uh, give it, if she don't want them now, I can give it to them in the, if whatever grows, I can give it to her in the spring. Give it to them in the spring. That way they can plant it, 
planted outside. Yeah. Okay. That's all for. Uh, I'll catch you later. Gotta clean up first. Well, it stayed cloudless all day. And it warmed up a little bit. About the same as yesterday, even, even without the clouds. The air has cooled off. I think the air is more from the west or even the north now. The, or west or southwest. Yeah, it's a little chillier than yesterday. But it's comfortable in the sun. Even I worked up a sweat. Alright. Uh, I think that's about it for today. Uh, I think I'll end it here. Catch you on the next one. Bye. The garden will look the same without the lemongrass gone. Or with the lemongrass gone. But the asparagus is still there. And I'm going to leave those common guy stalks. The trees. They got a few sprouts on them. Yeah, a few leaves. Because they'll die off in the, when it gets cold. But I'm going to leave them there. I want to do an experiment. See if they'll survive the winter. Yeah. I'm going to cover the roots up with the hay or grass clippings or something. Trying to keep them insulated a little bit. But I'm uh, pretty sure they'll die. They did before when it gets cold. Well, 3 p.m. I'm done with the lemongrass. I'm going to contact my sisters. Let them know I got some lemongrass plants for them if they want to keep them during the winter time or yeah because I can't keep them I don't have space for them oh, I barely got space for the ones I do have in the house anyway now I gotta get cleaned up I'm all dirty uh, anyway I'll be back later well it looks like it reached 68 degrees or 67 degrees at 3 p.m. again today. Okay. At least I got the transplanting job done. That's good. Well, it's 4 p.m. and I'm going to drop off. I'm going to go deliver the lemongrass plants to my sisters. One's about six miles away and one's a mile away. So I'm going to get rid of six little pots well I'm gonna take the back road to my eldest sister's house which is about six miles south of me five or six just passing by just passing by if I'm passing by I guess I'll still get a nice photo Okay. All right. There's the pasture road going up the top of the hill, top of the pasture. And I'm headed this way. I'm going to head up that hill. I'm going to have to put it four-wheel drive because the back wheels might spin. It's a steep hill. Well, at least there's no water flowing, so I'm good to go. Up that hill and four wheel drive. Oh, I made it, no problem. And now I put it back in two wheel drive, or rear wheel drive, and now I'm headed to my sister's house. Sun went down at my sister's house. Sunset from my other sister's house, the one that's a mile away from me. And there's my hay field on this side of those white bales, is my hay field. Uh, it's getting dark, so I'm going to back to my house and I dropped off the lemongrass here at my other sister and now I'm going home. Well, it's 5 p.m. and uh, I'm back at, to my, back at my house now after I dropped off my lemongrass to my two sisters. All right. Let's park this one now. I'm back at my house and uh, it's about, oh, uh, I'm guessing around almost half hour after sunset. But the sky's still bright twilight 
So anyway, I'm done for today, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. I thought I was done, but I forgot to bring these quick Christmas cactus inside the house. Because it's supposed to be cold tonight. Well, I'll have to go in the house to open the door. Well, it's time to bring these Christmas cactus inside the house. Because it's supposed to get down to freezing tonight. Well, I guess I was wrong. But the temperature getting down near freezing tonight. That must have been an old forecast because... Now the current forecast shows that tonight's going to be uh, only down to 45 degrees. 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And then on Wednesday night, tomorrow night, it'll be down to 36. And then after that, 35. And then on Friday, Friday, Friday uh, the 22nd, it's, the low is forecast to be 31 on Saturday morning so but then there's going to be some uh, low temperatures under 30 by the end of end of November yeah and beginning of December well anyway at least I got the plants moved inside the house so they're good to good to grow inside now all right that's all that's all for today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.